everybody okay. welcome to a Brit Pops React. You're me, BP1 Hello. and BP2 over there. Now, right. something a bit different for you, something new, um, Ninny Music. Yes, um, something that just sort of happened to pop up on my recommended, because we do check out some weird and wonderful stuff. Taiwanese folk metal. How's your Taiwanese, Taiwanese folk metal? Well, the five Funny playlists that I've got in uh, Spotify <laughs> for it. No, I've never heard of it. So no. um, interesting to see. And a little logo there just uh, in front of your nose on the, on the screen there. Nini Music, mm -hmm. uh, which is our own YouTube channel with 47.4 thousand subscribers. Good for so, her. Good. All right. Let's give it a bow. About yeah. uh, two minutes. Oh, well, minutes all right. Oh, yeah. quite quick one then. So yeah, it's not, not all right. Um, uh, a massive one. Um, reaction time here at Britpop Reacts. Let's go. He's got all the buttons, and he? here we go then. Hello. Is that a didgeridoo? That is an instrument. I've it never seen indeed. before. Okay. Interesting. Sounds like a horse. playing Red Dead Redemption again it's a bit bit of everything there wasn't it um that was a, a bit like the um uh, I don't know the sort of from the Godfather or something like that coming yes. out yes yeah it did sound a bit like that didn't it it's, it's very western country western yes. um I feel like I say Red Dead Redemption if you don't know is a uh horseback computer game um uh, oh I can't believe she's getting all those sounds out of that one instrument. Was it got two, three strings? Three strings. Three strings. Yes. Um, um, interesting sound, but authentic sounds, and it's cool. It's all right so far. It's a. Uh, I can't. It's not a song that I would. I think it's an atmospheric song. It creates yep. atmosphere. In whatever you're watching, I'm not sure it's a song on its own if it come on the radio, but it's certainly a song, an atmospheric song to put to what you're watching. Sure. Indeed, uh, and I mean, obviously, as you can see here from from the the, the photo that we've um, stopped on, a uh, very charismatic looking lady with the blue hair. I mean, when when she had it sort of slung over her back again, sort of like you know the old, um, yeah, yeah, again, sort of spaghetti western type thing with the the rifle over the back. Um, so Taiwanese folk metal band artist Nini Music has played and studied Chinese traditional folk instruments for over 20 years. You don't look over 20. Uh, and then this is, I'm reading this um, when it says here last month, um, but so I'll say she recently released an EP entitled Legends um, and she grew up in Taichung, Taiwan and has played and studied Chinese traditional folk instruments for over 20 years. She's toured Europe, the USA, Canada, China, and Japan. Um, so, you know, first time we're hearing of her. Um, mm. And again, the, that, as you say, that instrument is very unique, fretless, a uh, very long neck, and she was sort of all up and down the neck on that. So. The sounds on it, yeah. Yeah, like interesting. Whole, you know, all of the sounds put together, obviously just making yeah. like one there for the video. But the yeah. actual, like I said, the, the, they all complement each other in that authentic sort of way, which is yeah. always nice to hear. Um, so why don't you come, if this is the first time you're with us, uh, consider <laughs> subscribing. Uh, yeah. Subscription oh, yeah. is free uh, at BritPop's Reaction. You don't need to pay for anything or anything like that crazy. Just nope. Nothing crazy see, on this channel. 
that we release something every day uh, and there might be something else out there that you enjoy come on our musical journey we haven't said that for a little while uh, no. we are here on our own musical journey to you know see different types of music um, and that's what we want to share with you guys okay let's keep going okay oh press the wrong button reaction time oh again. one job one job <laughs> Out now, yeah. Keep string. I mean, it's definitely. I'll skip back ten seconds. Let's get bit. It's def that instrument is definitely mentioned about like Chinese instruments. Yes, it's definitely there. And for any viewers out there that's got kids as well, if you watch Mulan, you know Mulan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, the original. I get, I'm getting the sounds. That, I'm thinking, where have I heard that sort of sound from? And, it, and then that Disney film Milan come up, which is obviously set in Asia. Uh, so it's, it is though, it is those real authentic sort of sounds. And it's a cool sort of sound, isn't it? It's a cool sort it is. of. I don't know. It's not sort of too jarring on the ear. Some instruments, if you're not used to the sound of them, they can be a bit sort of, oh, I'm not quite sure I like that. But it's quite a, a, a melodic sound. Uh, and again, like I say, from the fact that when we zoomed into it again, there are only two strings on it and no frets. Uh, mm. That's quite impressive. Um, so it says here, um, Nina is now on a journey to create her own unique sounds with the use of her traditional instruments and share them with the world. It said she announced recently that she had gotten together with master craftsmen at Black Worm Instruments to design and create a prototype instrument that perfectly blends the sounds of East and West. This is to be the first of its kind instrument being dubbed the Dao Yu, which in Chinese means Jade Sword. There you go. Oh sword a lot going okay. on a lot going on so um again you know first a new one on me taiwanese folk metal played on a thingy midget. whatever that is That's in the comments them. below yes <laughs> oh well, then let's get it to the end <laughs> There you go. Yeah, you Mini go. So music. Something we would never have listened to other than, uh, you know, being on this channel. I... Did I like it? I thought it was all right. I it thought, was all right. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, like I say, it's it's one of those, it just reminds me of films. It reminds me of something else. That's why <clears> yep. I've heard that music before. That's why it gives me that. I can't imagine if that came on the radio or if I was listening to it in a Spotify playlist, I'd probably be flicking it on quite quickly. Um, yeah. But on a movie, on something that I'm watching, I think it would set the tone well. Yes, uh, I think my musical horizons have been broadened because of that. Now, if that kind of music comes on, I'll understand how it's being made. So in for that, uh, impressive, uh, as you say. Would I sort of seek it out? Possibly not, but um, all in all, not too bad at all. Yes, indeed. I, I will give that a 7.6 seven. Point point six. Six. from me. I was going to give it a 7.7 seven actually, so I will give it a 7.7. 7.7 seven. Seven seven seven. Seven. up there on our fun Nini board. Music. Yeah. Mini music. Something completely different. 
There you go. Oh, and he's folk metal. All right, well, there you go. Uh, Find it all on here. Something different for you as well. Hopefully you've never seen that. Uh, maybe tomorrow you would never have heard of that one either. So come with us tomorrow, uh, <laughs> Britpop React. Uh, until then, it's goodbye from yep. me. Uh, goodbye from him over there. Nice. Over and out. He's a 20th century boy.